What is up, YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back into Wilbur Shenanigans. My name is Chad. This is my wife. Indeed. We're back with another funny, fantastic, excellent, crazy, whatever you guys sent this video. Uh, we're headed right into another, and this is Comedian Day, I think. Uh, we're going into Greg Giraldo. Giraldo. And uh, who are we going into? The fattest country in the world. I already know. Where that we live. so mean. Where we live. Exactly where we going. There ain't nowhere else you need to head. We. I just had this discussion last night amongst my mom and my cousin and the... We were just talking about fat Americans. We was just... Ta maybe not in that context. But we were just mm. talking about fat Americans. Like, just eating stuff we ain't supposed to be eating. Like, so let's see. I know he about to just air it on now. <laughs> Thank you, Montreal. How's it going, everybody? Good? Yes, indeedy. Man, I've been here for a week or 4,000 brain cells ago. This has been fun. It's a crazy town. I was out on the street the other night. This homeless guy asked me for money, and I was about to give it to him, and then I thought, he's just going to use it on drugs or alcohol. And then I thought, that's what I'm going to use it on. <laughs> People could be so harsh to homeless guys, you know? I walked behind this guy the other day, and this homeless guy asked him for money, and he looks right at the homeless guy. He goes, why don't you go out and get a job, man? Go out and get yourself a job. Like, it's always that easy. This homeless guy was wearing his underwear outside his pants. <laughs> I'm guessing his resume ain't all up to date. <laughs> I'm predicting some problems during the interview process. I'm pretty sure even McDonald's has an underwear go inside the pants policy. <laughs> This guy's been living in the garbage for six months. What kind of job is he supposed to get? Hey, welcome to IBM, Smelly. Come on in. We got a job for you. Exactly. Thank God you finally made it. That's your desk over there with the air fresheners on it. Make yourself oh. comfortable. I like the look with the underwear. And it's casual Friday, so it's all perfect. Oh, but my God. You might want to go with uh, those shoes later. I, I can't believe that there are hungry people in America. I mean, you know... How can there still be poor and hungry people? We are the richest country. The United States is the, it's the fattest country in the world. People are fatter by the second. You can see people getting fatter as they walk down the street. Obviously, some of us are eating more than our fair share. <laughs> you know what a friend told me he bought the other day? Edible underwear for his girlfriend. Edible panties. Edible underwear as a sex toy. Even during sex, we can't stop eating. <laughs> <laughs> How much external stimulus do you need to take your mind off of food? Oh, man, my house is on fire. Marshmallows. <laughs> That's horrible. That That's might horrible. be. That's horrible. We love to complain in America, too. Man, we just complain about everything. You know what people are complaining about now? How much coverage the JFK thing got on the news. My friend said, you know what, man? That's crazy. It was on for eight hours straight. Hey, you know what? You're not supposed to watch TV for eight hours straight. <laughs> yeah, you stuck. About that. Let it go. There's a guy that needs to get a job. You know what I mean? or a girlfriend, or a hobby, or a dog, something to get him outside. <laughs> dog are you taking outside? We love to complain. We have a civil liberties union. They used to fight for incredible things for civil rights in the 60s and the 70s. You should see some of the battles they fight now. I read in the paper the other day, they were fighting minimum height and weight requirements for cops across the country. Like in Los Angeles, it was a law. The cops had to be five feet tall as a minimum. That's pretty reasonable, isn't it, for a cop five yeah, feet? Five feet is, yeah, that's, that's reasonable. And they're fighting it because they say it's racist and sexist. Against who? Oh Midget, pygmy, elf children? <laughs> if you're three feet tall, you like can't be a cop. Too bad. Do cop? something else. Learn to ride a racehorse. I don't care. <laughs> Good I don't want a three-foot-tall cop running around, blowing his little whistle and jumping up and down with his little nightstick, looking like a circus act broke out yes. in the middle of a crime scene. <laughs> oh, my I mean, God. <laughs> I thought about it, and he just kind of it. It sort of undermines the seriousness of the whole police presence when 12 of them come piling out of a cop car at the same time. <laughs> Not that long to your window. <laughs> These guys have tough jobs, right? A three-foot-tall cop, what if he's got to chase a suspect onto a ride at Disneyland? <laughs> ah, that's so messed up. So one man so, on the road. Oh, he brought up to ride at Disneyland? Like, why would you be chasing somebody to a ride at Disneyland? I know. <laughs> but they can't get on. The height requirement. Well, some can. Some little people are like a little oh, taller. But could you imagine? Could you imagine like a little like walking up to your window? Like, sir, can I see your license registration? Can you look into the car, please? I'll probably be arrested. You would, because that was <laughs> unnecessary. You could have just been like. <laughs> they can't even see us. Like, like something dirty in there, like a firearm, drugs. Like they gotta get in the car. I'm like, you wanna come in and sit in, like write my ticket while you in the car so you can see everything that's going on here. 
I'm like, I'm reaching for the glove box. You can't see me, but I'm reaching over there. I'm going to grab the insurance. That's crazy. Plate. I never thought of it like that, though. I never Imagine thought my of truck. It. <laughs> the reason why I say this, guys, I have a lifted truck. So. Just imagine them walking. He probably got to get on the side, or her, or whatever it is, got to get on the side real quick. Whatever <laughs> it is, who, you A so girl or a guy is what I mean. I'm talking about not the short. I'm talking about imagine them have to come get on the side real just to talk to you. Sir, can you lower the truck for me? Uh, it's sorry, it doesn't do that. I just never thought of it like that, if I'm being honest. I never thought of like little is people. Is there a midget cop out there in the world? You call them little people, not midgets. What little person do you think has little person cops out there? I'm well, pretty sure because some little people have like. I've never seen a little person at a job, I don't think. Do they have jobs? Yes. I've never seen a little person at a job. You ever really paid attention hard enough? I mean, I'm pretty sure if they were little people at a job, I would see. Have you ever seen a little person at a job? Yeah. Where? I don't remember. Exactly my point. I've never seen a little person at a job. I'm about to look into these discrimination laws. I've never seen a little person at a job. Ever. They probably have. I went to school with I went to school with two little people, but I've never seen a little person at a job. And they were really cool. They were girls. They were really cool. But I've never seen a little person at a job. I've yet to see one. I mean, maybe you're just not going to the right place. Do they have like certain jobs they gotta go to? I, you're asking me like I'm supposed to know that you Y'all, for real, have y'all ever seen a little person at a job? Think about it. Have you ever seen a little person at a job? That's bad. It's already bad enough we gotta go find one black person at a job. I mean, I don't know, gotta go find little people now? See, now we gotta look into the discrimination laws even deeper. Now I'm going to have to add one. Look, they already got one black person hired at a job. You only got to hire one minority. We need to add at least one, one little person. person. Like, it has to be a law. Somebody got to bring it up. And I'm telling you, if y'all I heard it here first. Probably some of them have, like, you know, disabilities or something. I think that's what it so is. So they, like, they probably, probably don't make them. Because I think they might receive, like, checks and stuff. Like, yeah, like, because remember when we watched Little People? Remember how she's, like, um, she was a little too overweight. So, like, her legs were her and stuff like that. I mean, all so. jokes to the side, I think that's probably what it is. Yeah, medical. I think they just have, like, um, medical stuff. So they, like, some of them do probably work. But a lot of them probably feel like. I just had to think about that. Like, me and, like, off the subject, too, like, me and D was talking like that. I was like, have you ever seen, like, an Asian person in a, a soul food restaurant? And we was like, had to think. Like, I've never seen. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever seen an Asian. Somebody said that on Facebook. Like, have you ever seen an Asian person pump gas? I, I, I don't. I've never seen. <laughs> like, I start thinking, like, I've never seen it. I've never seen, like, a. a <laughs> I've never seen it. Mm-mm. It's bad. When people start pointing out little stuff like this, I'm like, dang, I've never seen that. Like, I've never seen, like, an Asian person at the gas pump. I'm just waiting at the gas station all day. Like, I got to start seeing what fly in there because it's not, it's not working. Like, something's not right. That's true. That's crazy. They might all have Teslas. Yeah. That might be what it is. That's probably what it is, guys. That's our answer. They might just all have Teslas. Yeah, or electric cars. But they do drive vans, though. Most of the moms have minivans. I've so never when do they pump their gas? I've seen an Asian mom in a minivan. I see them all the time. I've never. They always be in minivans. Never. It's always a Honda Odyssey. Never. It's never another car. Never. Because it's the safest vehicle. For real, my glasses look crooked. All right, I'm done. I'm ranting off. I'm going off the subject. I have to ask them. I need all these questions answered. All of them, guys. Go to the comment section. Answer all these questions we were just talking about. If you ever seen a little person work or an Asian person pump gas, I need to know. Because I Asian need to know what's in the mix. Buying soul food. Buying soul food. But they do sell fried chicken. Louisiana. 